Yes, good evening, good afternoon, or good morning, wherever you're watching from. Welcome back to the channel. Hope each and every single one of you out there are doing well. Son Contract, that is the title of this video. But before we get into that, we have launched Henry Talks Football. The channel link will be pinned in this title. If you're watching this, could you go up, click on Henry Talks Football and press that subscribe button? That would be greatly appreciated. All footballing topics, Arsenal fans, Chelsea fans, Tottenham fans like you guys, Champions League watch longs, so much more coming. But Paul O'Keefe has given us an update with regards to Shun Min Son. And it says Tottenham have had positive talks a few times already with Hume Min Son regarding a new contract. Absolutely massive news. Now, Son this season, 21 games played, 12 goals, 6 assists, a very, very, very good return, 18 goal contributions. In 21 games, our captain, he has delivered this season. He has well and truly delivered this season. His current contract expires June 30th, 2025. And he signed that contract, which was a fifth, uh, a five-year contract back in 20... No, sorry, it was a four-year contract back in 2021, set to expire June 30th, 2025. He's valued... At 50 million euros currently, according to Transfer Market, Code UK, I think to Tottenham he's valued a lot more because of how important he is to us. He's 31 years of age. Now, his current contract will expire and he will be 32 in August next year. Uh, sorry, June next year. In terms of Kyun Min Son, so, so important to us. The main player at the club, the face of the football club, the captain, he is absolutely everything to Tottenham. Should he be signing a new contract, in my opinion? Absolutely. He is lethal in front of goal. One of the best finishers in the world. In the, if you look at the numbers behind his finishing stats, they are absolutely insane. Over 100 Premier League goals in a Spurs shirt. We should be pinning him down to a new contract. He's been the only one out of our front three this season that has delivered from the off. Richarlison's come good. Brennan Johnson and Kulisevsky, whoever's normally on the better form, will start out on that right-hand side. Human Son's gone into play that striker role, has played in the left-wing role against Newcastle. But it's very, very important, in my opinion, we pin him down to a new contract. He's, he absolutely adores the football club and has been a great servant for this football club since he joined. Now, him, lots of people have come out and said to me on Twitter that they believe extending it to a maximum of one year would, would make him 33 and then he you'd, you'd think that he would move on. But players now are playing better the longer their career goes on. Like if you look at Lewandowski and Benzema, you know, strikers just continuously go on keep going, keep going, keep scoring goals. I'm not comparing Benzema to human Son, but I don't see Son slowing down at any point, anytime soon. Like, if you look at his Premier League numbers, they are absolutely insane in the last three seasons. Like, we're talking elite numbers from human Son. So this season, he's got 18 goal contributions, right? The last three seasons, he's got 115 goals in 289 games with 58 assists. The numbers are absolutely insane, right? They are absolutely insane. But if you look at the last three seasons where Tottenham have been in transition, you know, 2020, 2023, 2024 season, this current season, all the way back to 2021, 45 goals and 19 assists in 92 games. That is unbelievable. I believe in that time, only Harry Kane and Mohamed Salah have got more goal contributions in, and maybe Haaland in the last three seasons. Like Salah, if we look at his last three seasons, for instance, if we click on uh, 2023 back to 21-22, yeah, Salah's got 56 goals and 33 assists. Only Salah in the last three seasons as a forward has got more goal contributions than Son in the league. It's absolutely insane. It really is. 19 assists and 45 goals in 92 games. And now, you know, comes off the bench in a very, very important win against Brighton for the remainder of, of the game. He comes on, gets his assist. Tottenham win the game 2-1. We've got a lot of winnable games coming up 
And I think Son will be a very, 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 very big part of that. He said he wants to have a special end to this season. If Tottenham get top four in their first season under Ange Postacoglu, and you look at the likes of Liverpool finished eighth in their first season, Arteta finished eighth in his first season, and the fact that Ange Postacoglu is, has completely changed the football at this football club, and we are currently sitting fourth in the league, one point above Aston Villa and six points above Manchester United with winnable games coming up. Wolves, Crystal Palace and Luton all to play in our next five games. Three home games in our next five. Chelsea away has been postponed and that game will be moved, I think, until April because I don't think Chelsea have a game in hand any time, well, a week spare anytime soon. You know, they've got Manchester City on Saturday then our Tottenham game has been postponed. Then they've got the cup final against Liverpool. And then they've got the FA Cup fifth round against Leeds. And I don't actually believe, because of an international break, they have a spare week until April. But if you look at the games Tottenham have got coming up with Wolves, will be a very, very, very important game for Tottenham to win because Aston Villa just lost at home to Manchester United and will have a tough game away to Fulham. Fulham are no mugs. Fulham, you know, a couple of good results recently, you know, beating the likes of uh, Bournemouth, going to Burnley and getting a point, um, you know, beating the likes of Arsenal back in December. They've, they've had a few good results recently, you know, and they are only four or five points off of 10th. I know they've, they've had only one win in their last three games, but that won't be an easy, easy game for Aston Villa. But in terms of Tottenham, Crystal Palace and Wolves in our next two games, and then we go in an absolute massive game at Villa Park, which essentially would be a six-pointer for the top four. Now, lots of people have been talking to me about Manchester United recently. They were on a good run of games, you know, beating Villa, beating West Ham, beating Wolves, beating Newport County, drawing with Tottenham, beating Wigan. You know, they've won their last three games and they are only six points behind us. And they have actually got a winnable run of games coming up, looting away, Fulham at home. Other than Manchester City, they've got Everton at home, Sheffield United at home, Brentford away. And then, and then April gets a little bit tasty for them. But right now, the top four race is heating up. And Human Son is going to be very, very important for Tottenham for the remainder of the season. So we need to hope that his form, he kicks off, you know, like he did coming off the bench against Brighton. You know, he didn't have the best of tournaments in the Asian Cup, getting knocked out of the semi final. But when you look at our games we've got coming up, West Ham at the moment are in turmoil. Fulham away, I think we can beat. I know I just said it's a tough game, but I think we can go there and beat. Luton at home, Crystal Palace at home, Wolves at home. And as it stands, there's only five points between Tottenham and Arsenal. I know Arsenal are in unbelievable form. But they've got tough games coming up against Newcastle, Chelsea, City, Villa, us, Man United. They've, they've still got a lot of games to play. Plus, they will be in the Champions League. So, Look, it's, it's going to be it's going to be an, a very very interesting end to the season. But as it stands right now, if Son signs a new contract for me, it is the right thing to do. He's an unbelievable finisher. He's our captain. He's a, he's an absolute fantastic servant to the football club. I just want to see him lift a trophy. That is all I want to see. You know, and I think it will hurt a lot of Tottenham fans more than than Harry Kane when he leaves. Genuinely, I do. You know, been at this football club now a long, long time. Joined in 2015. He's been in nine years. And, you know, when you look, if, if he signs another a one or a two-year extension, he will be over 10 years, meaning he'll have a testimonial match. He joined us 28th of August, 2015. It's been, and by the time his contract expires next summer, he would have been here 10 years. We need to pin him down to another contract. You know, left foot, right foot, way too dangerous. Clinical in front of goal, a fantastic finisher. That Over 100 Premier League goals. Everything we talk about when we talk about a world-class forward, that is what you're getting with Human Son. And for me, I personally think we need to pin him down to a new contract. And I'll be very, very happy if we do so. Let me know your thoughts down below if you haven't already. I generally think we are in a fantastic position going into... Sorry, I don't know why Sean's video started playing. Going into the remainder of the season. Make sure you drop a like on the video if you haven't already. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think that Son signs a new contract? Let me know if you haven't already. I personally think he does. Let me know, are you going to be happy with Son signing a new contract? And as I said, make sure you go up to 
Henry Talks Football. Hit that subscribe button. Lots of footballing topics coming out there. I'll see you all soon. Thank you all for watching. I 